Hey yo, I'm Tita Farone, and welcome back to Faronaville. In this episode of Port Taylor, we will be returning to the Nichols Ray household. And here we are in the Nichols Ray household. So I, I realized something interesting. Um, Lila has a want for Richie to be cured of being a werewolf. But if you look here, she does not actually give a damn about Richie. I always thought that they wrote wants for people to be like cured of being an uncle because they cared about that person. But now that I think about it, it might actually be because Lila does not want to become a werewolf herself. And if Richie is a werewolf, then there's a possibility that he will turn Lila into a werewolf. So I think they roll these wants because they don't want to become these occults. <laughs> not because they care about the person. But she definitely does not care about Richie. Zero over zero. Not even any attraction. Like, no attraction actually. Like, repulsed. But anyways. Lila and Caden are in bed asleep. And little Skylar is in his crib. It is indeed Skylar's birthday. He will be becoming a child in this episode, so I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and let them catch up on their sleep. Well, <laughs> definitely six in the morning. Got Skylar screaming in his crib. Fortunately for Skylar, both Caden and Lila are awake. So. I kind of want to put a little bit more decoration in their house now that they have a decent amount of money. I don't know if the camera picked up on that sound, but the cats are running in the hallway. <laughs> your lips and stare in your smile and it makes me fly. Far the reason my heart bleeds I just and me. Damn, I just said all that with the freaking camera running. I'm so glad this part's gonna be muted. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. Yeah, I honestly wanted to do a little bit more than this to their living room, but then I just kind of like, like lost my groove for it. <laughs> but there's definitely time in the future to add to it or change things, but I guess it looks better for now. So Lila is going to go get Skylar out of his crib and Kaden is going to make some breakfast. They still need to clean that counter. That counter has been dirty for years. <laughs> Ah oh, man, the crib. This is the last time we're gonna be getting this, hopefully. But yeah, Kaden is making omelets, I think. Uh, Lila's about to go play with the telescope. Um, oh yeah, Skylar is potty trained, so he can go to the potty all by himself. Alright, so we have grow up well locked in. He's absolutely going to be growing up well. And then he can just play with his toys. Whoa, wait, Sierra? Did you see her ghost or something? She was just acting like she saw Sierra. Yeah, she's definitely seeing her ghost. Oh. Alright, Lila. Um, breakfast is ready. I wonder when Lila will be giving birth. I wonder if it'll be before or after 6 p.m. If the baby is born before 6 p.m., the baby will be turning 1 today. But if the baby is born after 6 p.m., the baby will be 0 years old. Okay, they both finish at the same time. Um, you're gonna 
Go use the toilet or pee on yourself. Oh, you're actually gonna give birth. Okay. He's just he's just gonna put it on the put it, okay. That's valid. You wanna watch your wife's birth. I mean your girlfriend's birth. Damn, I screwed that up. Anyways, new baby. We're also gonna give this baby Caden's name. And of course we're looking at the wall. Unless that was the bridge, I don't really know. Either way, we weren't seeing the birth. Please show us the baby, not the wall. Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh it's a girl. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to the name generator. And name our new baby girl. Okay, so according to behind the name... Their new baby girl is Tatiana. I forgot how it was supposed to be spelled already, so we're just gonna go with that. <laughs> I already closed out the tab. Okay, so little baby Tatiana needs some clothes. So I'm just gonna look for the clothing bear, right, y'all? I put it by the door and st and stop her in her tracks, cause I'm pretty sure she's trying to put the baby in the crib, and I don't want that. Why does this not even work? She's about to wet herself. No! Well, I guess Tatiana's going in the crib. And here is little baby Tatiana. Gave her a little green outfit, kind of similar to what Skylar wore when he was a baby. Since Skylar is indeed going to be a child today, and we now have another baby, we're definitely going to have to expand the house now, because I don't want Skylar to have to share a room with his baby sister. That just sounds like misery to have like a screaming baby in your bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, looks like the living room will be being reworked anyway. Yeah, I might go ahead and start the expansion now, actually.
All right, y'all. I think I hit burnout again on <laughs> decorating. I did. I try to do more than I have been doing. But yeah, that's going to be Skylar's room once he's a child. Finally decided to do freaking closets. I kind of want to rebuy a um, baby toy so Tatiana can hang out in here too. I'm so dirty, babe. I really hope that's accessible. <laughs> Yep, it is. Perfect. Oh, I want to go ahead and have Kaden finish cleaning up those dishes. Um, Lila, why don't you get in the shower? Of course, Skylar is enjoying his little blocks. Oh, there's actually one more thing I wanted to buy for Skylar. So since Skylar's hobby is tinkering, I have this for Skylar to play with once he becomes a child. I don't know if there's anything else children can do for tinkering, so they at least have that. I wish I did something to the kitchen, too. The kitchen is still very boring. <laughs> at least, like, cabinets, you know? Well, I guess it's better than it was before. <laughs> um, honestly, I feel like we should send you to work for a little while. We'll make sure we get you home early enough for, um, Skylar's birthday, though. Yeah, let's go to work. What are you about to do, Kaden? Are you gonna go shower or clean it? Yeah, you're gonna shower. Alright, Lila, let's go. Now arriving at Pedestrian Pink. Let's open business and call in our employee. Who wants to hire Emmett so bad, but Emmett already owns a business. <laughs> kind about roaches. I'm so sorry, Lila. We're on rank 5, cool. I forgot we did that. My game seems to be slightly laggy. Alright, so Bradley is attracted to Lila. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and dazzle Bradley and hope that Lisa will go to the cash register. Yep, thank you. Alright, and then Tobias needs help. The reporter's here. Hello. Yeah, my game is a little laggy. I should probably restart my um computer, to be honest. This doesn't help that there's a lot of sins on the list for rank 5. That little T-star. Ugh, there's so many sims that it's hard to tell, like, who's here to shop and who's here to loiter, you know? But yeah, I don't plan on leaving Lila here for- Oh, we got a good review, cool! But yeah, I don't plan on Lila being here very long. We'll probably have her leave by 4, hopefully. Alright, this needs to get restocked. After she helps, um... Oh, bias. So, I guess Lisa is probably still on the bronze badge, if even that. A little frustrating. I think everybody who just came here is just standing around. Like, why, why are so many people just here standing? I'm about to say goodbye to a lot of freaking people right now. They were gonna help Jay Washington. How do we get rank 5, but Lisa is still so bad at the cash register? Yeah, she has a bronze badge. Why is she so bad at the cash register still? Alright, let's tell these people to leave because... Alright, so Jay is just browsing, it seems. And then we're gonna tell Tyler to leave. We're about to tell pretty much everybody to leave, aren't we? She frowning, thinking about them roaches. <laughs> this is very inconvenient. Just spending the word day telling people to leave because nobody wants to buy anything. Literally, Naya was just browsing that. But then I guess she didn't want to buy it. Goodbye, Ravi. Goodbye, Roman. Goodbye, Naya. Goodbye, Jay. Goodbye, Kelsey. Wait, 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 wait. don't tell her to leave. Oh, I thought she was doing a, a lost. Well, she is going to um buy something, apparently. How many people did I just tell to leave? I, I don't even know. It's probably like five. Jeez. Alright, so she just got dazzled. There we go. Now people want to buy stuff. They're like, oh, she's serious. Let's just buy something so we can be here. <laughs> Gotta be careful with the dazzling because Lisa is still only on bronze. My game is lagging. Watch it crash. Watch my game crash. To be honest. 
honestly, I'm getting frustrated with my people coming here to just stand around. So really, I might um close in the in a few moments because this is frustrating, and the game is lagging. Like that's gross. <laughs> I think I do need to just restart my computer. I think that'll fix the lag. It's like not even a warlock is like appearing on the lot. So why is it like freezing up like that? You know. Yeah, that line is getting way too long for Lisa to handle. I do not believe in her. We're gonna close soon, though. I really wish you can have, like, your sim train their employees. I really wish that was a thing. Alright, I, I just saw that we got a loyalty star. Alright. Oh, a warlock is here. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. He has brown hair? I thought he had gray hair for some reason. I'm very confused. I thought his hair was gray. Why did I think that? Well, I think it's a good time to close. So we can make sure we're definitely home in time for Skylar's birthday. Nice. Alright, so we have two Sims in line. Roman is paying now. So y'all can feel free to leave, please. We are closed. Wendy got in line. What the heck? Good thing I decided to close because it's already four. I want her to leave by four. But definitely by five. I want her home at, at five. Lila is just over there jamming. Alright, Lila, go ahead and put that away. So you can send Girlie home. Alright. Alright, Lisa, get out. Because we're ready to go home. No, Lila, we're going home. Get off that couch. Let me fix the sidewalk now that I'm, while I'm thinking about it. So I guess when I make my lots in that um, testing neighborhood that I have, I need to um not bother with the sidewalk because I'm going to have to put it right back down in Port Taylor anyway, it seems. Finally heading home. We're only going to be a couple minutes late. Alright, so Lila was gone for nearly seven hours. She should hopefully still definitely be back in time for Skylar's birthday. Got Tatiana here playing in her little... What's it? The Dangle Master? I think that's what it is. I can't remember. <laughs> and Skylar is in here playing with his blocks as usual. He wasn't very happy about it. You can do it. You can do it. Interesting. The circle in the square. At least you got it, I guess. We're gonna let Skylar take a nap now. Alright, so Hayden is out of the shower. He needs to pee. Sounds like he's watching a movie. I can't remember which one that is, though. Oh, that's Mime Cat. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let Kaden use the toilet because he needs to. Skylar is napping on the toddler blanket. Looks like Tatiana is taking a little nap too. Very cute. Man, Kaden's been wanting to see that ghost forever. Oh wow, Kaden wants to be a werewolf too? Wow, okay. Um, it is worth a lot, huh? Um, is he close enough with Richie to be able to invite him over? Like, are he, um, is zero over zero, so probably not. I'm sorry, Kaden. Um, this book is bothering me. It seems to keep changing colors too. Go ahead and put that book away for me. That book has been on the floor for a while. There we go. That's better. His Caden's hobby is science. Let's let him look through his telescope. They're seeing Sierra. Like, is her ghost active right now? <laughs> Sierra. What's so funny about Sierra, Kaden? You know she's dead, right? You're, you're laughing at her at her ghost. Skylar is still napping away. Ah, he needs a bottle. Well, let's go ahead and get Skylar his bottle first. Um, where's get bottle? Where's get bottle? There's so many options that. Oh, he's he's asleep. That's why. All right, so Kaden gained a logic skill point. All right, so now that Skylar's waking up, it should appear now.
So Skylar just used the potty. Is that him stinky or the potty? I think it's him stinky. Yeah, we're going to give Skylar a bath as well. Yeah, I know he stinks. Um, yes, yeah, so Tatiana needs a diaper change. There you go, Skylar. I know, we're gonna give you a bath in a second, buddy. Just let, just let your dad change your sister's diaper. Alright, so put her back in the thing and dispose of the bottle after that. And then after that, put Skylar in the tub. Put on these lights. You could. That one must be full then. Alright, Skylar, it's time to get in the tub. Get off them blocks. No! Kaden, please. You gotta give Skylar a bath. Now he's getting in the toy box? Come on, Skylar. It's time to take a bath. No, the toy is stuck in his hand. He said, I wanna bring it in the tub. Skylar brought that toy in the tub with him. <laughs> That's valid. So Lila will be home in about an hour. Is the phone ringing? Wow. So when Skylar is done having his bath, we're gonna go ahead and bring him back downstairs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and buy the cake when that happens too. Yeah, it'll be, probably be time to blow up the candles by the time um he's done taking his bath. He still has that toy. Yeah, it's just about time for Skylar to blow up the candles. No, the counter! Why does that happen? Yeah, that's the best I can think to do. <laughs> Alright, let's pull out that chair. I'm gonna just stick it right there. Let's go ahead and buy the cake. Actually, let's go ahead and dress Skylar. He is holding that toy, bro. Alright, so I see that Lila just returned home. So let's go ahead and bring Skylar to the cake. Aww. Skylar's birthday! Wow, Lila, you're in my way. It's birthday time! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Yay! Go ahead and do your thing, Skylar. Oh, look at him! Yay! We have a child in Port Taylor! Oh wait, Skylar, don't grab your cake yet. Sorry, buddy. Because we gotta give you your makeover and whatnot. Like, really? It's not really a bad outfit. It just, I want to see if I can find something I like better. And now we have our little Skylar Ray, a child. Alright, let's go ahead and roll his trait. So Skylar's third trait is over-emotional. Alright, Skylar, now you can grab a plate. What was that sound? Are y'all about to woohoo? Yep. Nothing like your child's birthday. Make you want to woohoo. So I guess you'll be eating birthday cake all alone, Skylar. So let's see what kind of wants you have. Alright, you want to make a friend. Um, there are no other children your age currently, unfortunately. You want to buy a lemonade stand? Why not? And you want to reach logic level 4. I said, why not? I'll think about it. Um, I saw that you need to use the bathroom, so go do that. There they go. There they go. So, Skylar's other needs look decent. So, we're going to let him play with his toy. His little RC car. That was a very fast woohoo. Um, yeah, you need to come get some cake. And so do you, Kaden. Go get cake. Throw in the snow. Yeah, I know you love that. Where's your car? Oh. He is having a blast. Alright, Lila, I already know you need another slice of cake. Um, that can wait. You can come get more cake. What about you, Kaden? Yeah, you could, you could eat another slice. I'll let you react to the snow first.
He seems a bit indifferent. Oh, Hayden wants to get Skylar into private school, but that's like definitely locked right now. I don't know if we'll ever do a private school. Maybe one day if the population is like pretty big. I don't know. All right, Lila, do you need more cake? Yeah, you do. Get another um another slice. Eat as much of the cake as you want, so it doesn't go to waste at all. All right, Caden is good on cake. Um, go ahead and use the bathroom, Caden. So when he's done playing with that, we're probably gonna send him to bed. Um, yeah, we gotta reset his age, cause he's not supposed to be six. He's supposed to be five. So Skylar has homeschool in the morning, so we're, we're gonna let him wrap it up. He's reacting to the snow. He's very happy about it. I guess I didn't like really need to buy this thing yet, cause he's not in, um he's not in school. He's not gonna get homework, so I have to buy the um the homeschool stuff instead. Actually. Lila, I'll have you take care of that. So clean it and unclog it for me. Alright, um, Kaden, go ahead and put Tatiana in her crib. Um, we don't have to sell this. We can just put it in the inventory. Because we're probably just going to keep it for, um, for Tatiana when she ages up. Bro, then she immediately started crying. She probably needs a bottle. I meant to feed her one earlier, but I forgot. Oh, she needs a diaper change. Okay. All right, Lila, go ahead and grab another slice of cake because you're hungry. Are you pregnant? Like for change, and then put Tatiana back in her crib. And empty that while you're at it. Tyler is already in bed. The roof is showing through the room. Whatever. Oh, it's because I have roof view on. There we go. So I need to buy the um homeschool stuff, actually. Alright, so we have the whole school items. Um, Unfortunately, one of the required items is this huge board. <laughs> uh, it looks awful in here. It's temporary, at least. I have to enroll him here. Well, it's supposed to have Skylar's picture on it, but he's enrolled. Yeah, there it is. We're gonna set the principal to Caden. Why not? We're gonna... Um, hold on. Why is Skylar awake? We're gonna set the teacher to Lila. We're going to preset subject for grade work. And Skylar, get back in bed. Oh, so Lila is tired. Yeah, you can get in bed instead, Lila. The rotation is over. Yeah, so the rotation is indeed over, so we're just going to go ahead and end it here and update that spreadsheet. Okay, the Nichols Ray household just had their seventh rotation. Both Lila and Kaden are 25, and Skylar turned 5. And we're going to go ahead and add a new row for little Tatiana. It is R2, R2, born. Uh, I think she's one. Alright, so we have to make her selectable to find out the other stuff. Okay, so Tatiana is a cancer. Grow up. I'm going to put this stuff. Oh yeah, while well, I'm thinking about it, we go ahead and add Skylar's new trait, which is over emotional. This says, this still says N-A. Well, Skylar's hobby is tinkering. Come on. And Tatiana's hobby is cuisine. Alright. So, let's go ahead and change both of their colors. Skylar's color is now going to be yellow. And Tatiana's is going to be blue. Wait, no, no, no. That's for the pets. No. Lavender. Oh my goodness. I said Tatiana was a pet. But anyways, that should be about it. And that is it for this episode of Port Taylor. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe so you know to join us again for the next episode. Bye!